chilling. <sighs> uh, Timmy, what are you doing? <laughs> what? What are you doing in my room? <sighs> that was awkward. That was definitely not me. And that was my brother Timmy. Trying to do his little Timmy TV. And while I close the door, so we can't hear anything. Today we're going to learn a very dear position close to me. It is one of my favorite positions. Not to mention my main position. And why does my headphones it now feel extremely weird? Just because it was on his head. There we go. Today we're going to learn how to play mid. And it's just going to be a general idea. The basics of playing mid lane, actually. So what champion am I going to play? I'm not quite sure yet. We'll figure it out once I pick my team. And that's what you should really think about before you go into rank queue or uh, set up to kind of start playing a normal game or ranked is to know well what what are my teammates gonna play what's gonna be best for my team or what's best against the enemy's team that way we can have the most efficient and the most strongest uh... advantage in the game no i don't i've never been I've never that's never happened to me all right so as i change the update of the name of today's title which i don't even know what episode this is I wish I did. I should probably figure that out. But, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and let all my other friends pick first. And then after that, I'm going to decide, well, who would be best for our team? The basics of mid lane. Awesome. So as you see we have Thresh who's really good at engaging and disengaging at the same time He can do quite a bit amount of peels, which means I can pick a character right now who doesn't really need to have such a great escape we have um, Jinx who's really good at getting a reset every time we can kill someone really quickly after she does damage to them would be a great um, someone, someone like an assassin who can kind of hop in and out of the battle and use um, Thresh's ult to kind of get away easily uh, so as since they're taking a little while, I'm gonna play. Let's see, we could do Fizz, Ari, or Zed. I think would be our two strongest picks for this. Let me. So I think I'm gonna play. Don't you trust me? I did Fizz already. I did. I could do Zed or Ari. It looks like we're gonna do Ari. We have Jungle Fizz. Cool. So we're gonna have a pretty strong front line with Renekton. Uh, a lot of burst damage is going to help Jinx get her pa uh, her passive go off, so she'll be able to pe or not need peel as much as she would if we couldn't get her passive off. And then other than that, you know, we have Thresh's ability to peel, his ability to engage. The only thing we're really lacking is a very strong engage. Yeah, Thresh can maybe hook one person and go in ult, but it's not similar to Jarvan en engage or not similar to uh, Flash Stun Sun or any engage. Well, we are probably going to have to pick off one target. And then focus them down, get that reset on Jinx, and then go from there. So now I get to see... Did I change my runes? And masteries? I really hope I did. Well, if I didn't, we're going to have to make best with what we have. So our enemy team is going to have a jungle warwick. Looks like a mid and Oh, I don't know, actually. It might be an AD carry any. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. But they're not going to have an AD carry, so... Someone who I can assassinate now is just going to go down to those three targets. Assassinating Zed is actually kind of hard, so I'm definitely not going to assassinate him. I can peel hit, maybe try and kill him before um, he gets to Jinx, which would be a good thing. I could either go after Bran, which is going to be the support, which might not be that best idea. So most likely it's going to be going for Annie. And if Jax builds pure damage, I might be going for Jax. In this game, there's no real... Ari's really good at going into the back line and trying taking someone out really quickly. Or getting anyone who's kind of caught out of position. In this game, I'm probably just going to want to kind of stay near my carry and burst down whoever is going to try and kill her. So we'll see how that goes when we arrive mid lane and see who I'm laying against. And then we'll kind of describe more of what's mid lane's role, what you can do inside of the lane, and stuff like that. Oh man, I've been playing Pokemon all day, and let me tell you, it's fun. The new Pokemon X and Y, you guys should get it worth 
Alright, so, mid lane, I feel like all um, the three different roles or lanes in the game, they kind of thrive, or they should thrive at specific times in the game. Let's see, I, I did go to the right mastery, it's cool. Alright, so I think mid laner should definitely be strong in the mid game. Their most potential is definitely mid game where their damage really thrives. Go away. There we go. For some reason, no streaming video. Their damage thrives in the mid lane because they want to be able to assassinate while we're getting those early towers. While late game, we know we have AD carry and sometimes top to get tanky and be that front line. That's going to be our main late game. Um, jungler and support, I think, are the really strong early game champions. And then support's also really strong end game, also. Just because of the fact that they can peel and save their carry. Do, 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 do. So it looks like we're going to go do an early ward invade. We see Warwick, so they know we're here. I'm going to take Charm first, just in case we get one inside of range or one that's out of position. Like right here. If we can get that Ignite, then they're dead. Awesome. I got a first blood, and now I'm going to be way ahead as mid. Uh, looks like, just from their positioning, that Zed's going to be the mid champion. So I'm going to want to get some early armor against him. I still have my charms. They should be kind of weird at where they're standing. Now that we have it warded, we'll know where they are at all times. When leashing red for the jungler as a mid laner, make sure you're standing over here if you're a range champ. If you're not range, I actually don't recommend leashing because you might lose too much CS. But other than that, I'm going to stand in this area so I can quickly leash and then get out and do, a gump, do upon my business and get that farm. So there's Zed still. He's just kind of taking a peek. <laughs> so as we wait for that buff to spawn I'm going to spam my laugh and do a little dance Alright, awesome Now that charm doesn't reset the buff I can go ahead and use it for some more damage And it's kind of like a little stun for Fizz So he takes less damage Alright, so I'm going to want to get The early uh, Or I don't want to get too far behind in level So I did miss one experience and one CS In total, so it's just one whole creep so I will technically be down by one person. Zed definitely doesn't have his flash, so you know I kind of can be a little aggressive. And the thing about uh, going against what the heck, very unexpected, about going against a melee champion as a range mid is you always want to use your auto attacks to poke. Yeah, you're not an AD champion, but if they keep on coming into CS, eventually those auto attacks build up. So I'm gonna keep on doing that, and at the same time trying to farm my best, which I did miss one. Do, 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 do. And as you can see, those auto attacks are building up. He's already used the potion. That creep blocked me. And the only real damage that I've been taking is actually from my own creeps taking damage. Oh. Nice. Looks like the game's already going good. This Zed is just balls deep. Alright, and so with Ari, your Q is... I didn't really... I know I usually go over the champion before. I actually forgot to. But Ari's Q actually goes forward doing pure magic damage and comes back as true damage. So you're going to want to hit it both ways to do the maximum amount of damage with your Q. And just pay attention to Zed's mana. Oh, that totally missed. I don't have to really worry much. It's not a stun or anything. Even though it's going to really hurt. So I didn't want to blow my flash... Ari's passive also, it actually heals her up every 9 charges that her damage actually does, she gets 20% spell vamp. So it's actually a very important thing to remember if you want to get some health back up. Just get those charges up. Oop. That's, I'm dead. Shit. Too busy talking and trying to heal up. So like I was saying, is um, you want to get the 9 charges and then use your Q if there's more than 3. And then use your W if there's a single target that you want to hit to get the most amount of heal. Uh, he has no flash. If he still has hop, oof, barely. Okay, no problem. I'm going to buy my Doran's ring, boots, and then two wards. I don't really need health potions as Ari because of her passive. But other than that, the Doran ring is going to put me ahead. I did actually get the first blood, so I'll have tons of gold ahead of him. <clears throat> And because of that, I'll be able to put myself in an advantage. Even though he did get a kill, I should be ahead eventually. He did start red potion, which is going to put him behind in gold towards the later game. Because that's actually eventually going to run out. Don't want to miss that, even though somehow it still did. 
And then I'm just going to keep on trying to farm up the best I can. And just wait it out until I can see Zed gets out of position and harass him as much as I can at the same time. Looks like he's got a vamp step now. And he did just pop his red potion. So I'm going to wait for that to kind of run out before I actually full engage him. Warwick's back again for more. And one thing a mid laner can either do is, if they're ahead or losing, or if they're really good at pushing, is they can either push the lane to tower constantly and try and take that tower down, or push the lane and roam. I usually recommend roaming only if you're really far ahead, or you see the other lanes completely out of position. And Ari can't really roam too much until level 6. Oh man, that really hurts. I thought he was going to keep coming. God, I'm just pressing buttons like crazy. That is embarrassing. Alright, so I have a feeling he's going to die. If he doesn't have flash, Renekton's going to kind of roam down. So I'm just going to kind of sit back and wait for him to come. That red potion definitely did a lot of damage to me. I need to just wait it out. Got him with the Q. He's going to have a little bit less health. He only is going to have his ghost. Oof. Acting should be able to. Oh my god! I think he can turn that one easy as long as he gets to. Oh, Fizz got him. I think. There we go. Cool. He's dead. By the time he comes back, his red potion is going to be gone and he's going to be behind 350 gold total. I can't believe I just warded the tower. That's weird. Ugh. Smart cast on wards when you try to press Q. Alright, so. <clears throat> I have 81 AP, my Q, it already isn't too strong of a AP heavy champion, I mean you don't need to stack too much AP because her ratios are kind of low, but other than that, I mean you want to get a lot of cooldown, magic penetration, and you'll be doing tons of damage eventually. Once I hit level 6, you know, that's where I really thrive as Ari, and in team fights I can go in kind of the back line or kind of just peel away or do damage without having to be worried about being caught. Alright, Zed's potion is almost out, it's about 3 quarters f done. Uh, I'm 1 and 2 with very little CS. So let's see if I can try to pick myself back up and turn it back around. He still just really hurts. God, I don't like this guy. I just need to hit 6. Alright, he's going to have his ult up soon. I can heal from this right here. Fizz is here. I just gotta worry about landing a charm. I'm not six yet, but I am almost six. His red pot's about to run out, but not just yet. Alright, I'm level six now. Get my passive from that. And then use it again to heal up. One thing you can do with Ari is once you get nine of these, you can actually heal up from those minions just by hitting it. I'm gonna come get blue and I'm gonna ward her here because I don't want Zed to come around and just assassinate me when I'm taking blue. Alright, so now that I have blue, I'll be able to kind of heal up a lot better and just constantly spam my spells to get that passive up. I'm just gonna stay far away. Oh, what the? I just started running towards him. Exactly the opposite of what I just said, but I'm gonna try and stay as far away from Zed as possible. My mouse is kind of acting weird today. Yeah, that ward that was embarrassing finally died. Alright, Zed's still right there. Just to get my passive and get that farm. I have blue buff, so I don't have to worry too much about mana. Shut down. Just trying to get that heal up. I'm definitely gonna keep losing C or losing experience because I can't really go into him. He'll definitely kill me. Get that passive heal and just try and get full HP so I can get back in there and start farming again. No jinxy. All right, Zed, push it back so I can get some farm. No thrushy. I know what they desire. Oh, this is going to be an annoying lane. 
<clears throat> As a mid lane, you want to constantly be paying attention to bots, and I think you have the most gank potential from there. Jesus. That shouldn't kill me, I hope. Oh, God, no. This guy's kicking my ass. I should be winning. I don't know why I'm actually losing this lane. I got put way ahead, so... Ugh. I was not prepared for today. Alright, so let's try and get back mid. And I just want to keep on farming, but it's really hard because this Zed can actually pretty much dive me and use his ult to kill me almost instantly. Especially because he gets reflected damage from that bilge water. <laughs> but overall, I think my team should be fine. It's just going to be Zed's going to be the problem. And if I, we can burst him down before he can get to the Jinx, we should be okay to win team fights. Don't hold back. An enemy is Oop. Orwreck might be a problem soon, too. Zed's back. I'm just going to keep on trying to take Wraiths to get some more farm. No one will stand in has been Zed's missing. I'm going to call that out. And there he goes, bottom. I'm going to try and push my lane to get some tower damage on him now that he's not here. And hopefully get a little bit more farm. So, I mean, I'm definitely not going to be able to follow, follow up on that Zed gank best I can do is just try to take tower. Oh, oh, that scared the crap out of me. Zed's coming back up. And Warwick's right there. So I'm definitely going to stay far back away from that. Because if Warwick ults me and then Zed ults me, it's definitely going to be a dead Ari. Ooh. Keep waiting for those farms to come back. I should actually recall since I get a free recall. So I'll do that quickly. And right now, I can't really buy much. I'm definitely going to get that armor, though. Something that I should have got earlier. Thinking that it was it. I actually didn't know who my mid was going to be. Just because their team comp's kind of weird, is it? Yeah, it's double AP bottom. Oof, said might get that. I don't want him to, but he just might. Ah! As you can see how much he hurts. I just don't want to get hit. By any of his abilities. There's Brand. Oh man, Brand's mid now. To come wreck havoc. And now I gotta go back again. Nice, we got an assist on that one. And that will give Jinx that speed that she needs to kinda... There we go. Saved everyone's life and got a kill from that one. And that's all we really need to do, just kill that Zed before he can kill our Jinx and we should be able to win the fights, no problem. Quantalameda. And I definitely need to get my farm back up. I mean, in comparison to jungler i'm actually on par with the jungle which shouldn't be a, that's not a good thing that's not a good sign if you're csing mid lane and you're on par with jungle that's bad you should be way ahead at least by i think it's a factor of 1.3 ahead Um, they're gonna get those wards on Dragon. I see him right there because we do have a ward. And there's Warwick. Let's see if I can get a charm. Nice. And that's one dead Warwick. Oh no. No, friend, stay away from me. Alright, so there's gonna be a. Pr they're pretty tough right now to kill. Because they have much more HP than us. Oh shit. I just need one second. One second. Oh my god. One more second, I would have my ult to get away. Hmm. 
It's kind of getting tough because I can't really buy much either. Oh, he got it. Alright, he'll be fine. Cool. Because of that turret, I can buy those boots. Zed ult may be down, but just because it's Zed, his ult's pretty much always up. So unless you know the exact amount of time, just kind of play as if it's up, unless you just saw him cast it. That's one way to play against Zed, just knowing his ult's ready, and just be ready to kind of wait until he uses it, and then just negate all the damage you can possible. Whenever you have a CC, use your CC as soon as Zed ults, because then he won't be able to get too much bonus damage on you. He's going to get that tower, I can't really stop him from that. Oh, through the shark. Um, guy right there. I'm trying to throw my ward over the wall so we can get some vision of him. Yeah, he's not right there. Uh, Zed's still here. Level 11 over my almost level 10. I know he doesn't have his ghost thingy, so he won't be able to come right at me. Fizz is waiting for it. And there's Jax right there. So just try and keep, whenever you're playing mid, just try and keep an eye on the map. Know when they're going to gank you. I think the hardest lane to gank is mid, but also the squishiest champions, if they don't have an escape, is the easiest lane to gank. And Annie's here, so I'm going to kind of back away. I'm just trying to poke away that CS and trying to get it before it comes to the tower. Do, 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 do. Should have played the champion I'm better at. Like Ziggs. I already played Ziggs. My Ziggs guide is my favorite so far. Nah, oh, we can't catch him. Oh. Oh, he's so low. And that's just the burst we kind of need to put on Zed and just get him out of the fight. Ooh, be careful for that any ulti. There it is. Without our AD carry, we're definitely going to have a tough time with this fight. Oh, I wish I had my ult. Click that lantern to get away safely. And they're low enough to where I can try to poke them away. See, almost killed them. And then Fizz will be able to kill them. Ooh, land the hook. No mana. Oh no, the Zed. Do 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 do. Nice. And that way we'll be able to push them away from the tower. So now I'm back up at 4-4. Four and four. I just need to work on my CS so I can get back into this game. I almost have 600 gold, so I'll be able to get my large rod, which will benefit, benefit us greatly. Ooh. Get him, Reneki. Get him. There we go. And as soon as we get a kill with, um, as soon as we can get one of those kills on up uh, to Jinx, she'll be able to pretty much annihilate a team. I feel like Jinx right now is a very, very strong pick. And let's go ahead and go with the Zonias first, because whenever you're playing mid versus Zed, you kind of want to rush the Zonias if you're an AP champion, because you can press your Zonas, Zonias either as soon as he ults to kind of do almost no damage, or just to do it right when the ult's about to pop to just completely do no damage at all, because he'll be able to stop his, uh, ult from popping on you but you can also do it before or right when he casts his ult so that he can't really damage you during the time where he's allowed damage which i think sometimes that can be a better case because you're negating first his initial damage and then his slightly part of his ult damage unless he waits it out perfectly then it will be a bad case catching up slowly in comparison to like Jack and stuff, the only person who's way ahead is going to be the Zed. But even then, he's a squishy champion who can be bursted down easily. Looks like we got one of those death rockets going down. 
Will I get there in time or I can't really do much? Oh, really? Oh, no! <laughs> it's alright, we killed, we took one down with us. Alright, now I got my Zonia. So if I had my Zonias during that play, well, I would have had an extra R. So if I had done that properly, I would have had an extra R to get away from Annie and Flash. And if I would have had a Zonias, it would have been even better, because I could have Zonias after he died and then use my abilities to kind of just get away quickly. So we see Zed Top, who's their real threat. So I feel like they can actually kind of just go in there if they would like to. But Fizz is actually low, so probably not. Oh, they can actually go around Annie. And buy a ward. Oh, the flash. Dragon is still available. And right now my team is 20 and 21. CS wise, I think overall it's quite even. So the game should be pretty fair as long as we can get some towers soon. And they're getting dragon and it seems like it's unwarded so I'm going to kind of just distract them right here and not tr try not to get caught because if I do I'm going to end up reducing the amount of gold benefit we'll get from taking dragon. Got hit, nice. Get those nine stacks and go find somewhere to heal off of. Do, 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 do. Alright, so once we get in team fight, uh, we are pretty much in team fight mode, but once we get even closer, like I said earlier, I'm going to want to try and either kill Zed before he can get to Jinx, or then just go into the back line, take out Brand or Annie, because actually they're both viable targets since they both are building pure AP damage. So there's going to be a lot of bursts coming from their team, but if we can survive it, we'll only have to deal with sustained damage from Warwick and Jax. We got three of them in the top vicinity, and we have Annie down bottom. Don't want to get ulted by this guy, because that will be for sure death. Running long mana, because I did not buy a chalice. See if we can try and pick somebody off here. We gotta worry about them pushing mid, but I think if we do this quickly, we can get a pretty nice. Missed that. Oh man. See, I just got annihilated. But either way, we'll be able to take two for one. Because they have such strong bursts. Just getting hit by Annie's ult and then Brand's ult is gonna pretty much delete me completely. And now that she got that reset, she'll be able to chase down Warwick easy, even though she's not gonna need to gonna get a second one and be able to kind of run away from Zed or just face tank it but they're gonna live fine and they're gonna get a complete ace push down me and get a couple towers it's gonna put us ahead in the game so after I buy I'm gonna want to buy after like kind of realizing who's ahead and whatnot I'm gonna want to get my death fire grass I'm gonna wanna burst down the target that's gonna be on Jinx which is Zed so getting a DFG will help me kind of just delete him off, the, or kind of just help my team kill him quicker. Just so we can have, get a reset for um, Jinx and keep her alive for our whole battle. Since they don't have an AD carry, as long as ours is alive, we should win the team fight without a problem. Big creep right bottom, Renekton's going to pick that up. My CS this game is definitely really bad. It's about half the CS that I would actually want. But at least I'm trying this game. I kind of got a pretty bad start. Oh, I had a really good start and then it turned to a bad start. Landing the charms. Which lasts for about one second. I almost have enough to get my second large rod. Oof. 
Once Renekton gets here, I'm going to go in on this one. If I can get a clear shot. Alright, so I gotta try and help out Jinx as much as I can. I'm got Annie stun. So I'm gonna stay in the back line and cause damage and havoc to anyone that comes towards Jinx. Giving her the reset and the ability to kind of peel away from any target that goes at her. Oh, barely. He flashed away. Even though I don't think it would have hit him even if he didn't flash. Oh, there we go. He's gonna ult me. And I'm gonna die from it, but at least I'll try to. He'll die for his sins. <clears throat> so we kept our AD carry alive that fight. It's roughly mid game where mid or mid game where mid lane has the most amount of damage, and is kind of playing the biggest role. Since our AD carry is Fidge, is doing another big part in the in the damage wise. So I try to keep her alive by constantly doing damage to anyone who jumped on her. So first I went for Warwick, then the Jax, giving her the reset and the ability to run to the back line. And just stay away from taking any extra damage. And I should have enough to get my DFG, which is going to help my... Or just kind of do more to what I'm kind of going for. Alright, so now that we have a huge goal lead, we're going to have to buy and then kind of push more. Kind of take more objectives. Super Rich Renekton is going to be a pretty strong front line. If Fizz wants it though, he can have it. Because I'm not even close. Oh, I'm running. <clears throat> Ari definitely runs out of mana very quickly. Snagged it up before he goes over there. I don't want to put this ward down or somewhere special, even though he already got it covered. Don't know why that's a man or what it's from. I think my little brother was singing it downstairs. And I do not speak Spanish. Alright, so we're here all grouped together, except for Renekton, so we're going to want to be careful. And we see this guy coming in from the side. Ooh, that's definitely a bad spot for Jinx. Oh no, I have them mixed up. That's not good. That is really bad. Damn, that was messed up. I have usually have my Zonias on 2 and my Deathfire on 1. Oh, so as you can see, we got Jinx got caught off in that fight. I use my zoners when I should use my Deathfire to try and kill the uh, Zed. But because I kind of mixed them up and because Jinx was just in a bad spot overall, we lost the fight incredibly fast because Zed can jump on Jinx. And that's what we really wanted to avoid. That awkward moment when you zone ya in the middle of a DFG. Looks like they're gonna. Oh no, they're not. Maybe we can possibly counter bear in that. Seeing that they're all kind of low HP and two of them are going bottom, we definitely can, I think. Yeah, Jax is all the way bottom. There are wards, so we're gonna have to wait. Let Thresh go first, see if we can take out the wards. Does he have... Oh, he don't have any pinks. Damn. Well, there's Jack still is bot who hasn't backed. But he does have full HP now, so it might be a little risky. Tell my ward over there so we can just kind of get vision. And he's low, so we're going to kind of cut her off. She might make the getaway just from recalling in the bush. Which I'm pretty sure is what she's doing. Ooh. Damn it, I was looking at the bush. They're going for Bran while he's taking blue. They're going to be able to take him out. Ooh, they're actually really low, though. Try and get some lifesteal off and protect them while Zed comes in. There we go. I got the DFG off much better. That time I didn't hit Zonia's when I should have Deathfire Grasped. Alright, so we're going for the play for Baron because there's only three of them up. I see Warwick. He's trying to be sneaky. I don't want to stay away from that Annie ult. 
zoniered right when she popped it, so that was good. She hit her Zonia, so I'm gonna stay away. She's gonna try and kill me. She's over there hiding somewhere. Alright, so we kind of came on top of him as far as kills goes for that fight. So we're going to have to clear up these wards. We can't bear him because of how low we are. We only have three people. And then Zed and Bran did spawn. So they'll be back over here with full HP. So we got to be careful from them. Because they're pretty dang strong right now. I can't even kill that thing. I don't have any mana. It's going to take way too long. Dude, you kiting backwards and trying to get that one more item. Um, sometimes you can build a Rylize on Ari. I don't recommend it against this team, especially because most of them have really good jumps and they don't really need to run at you. As far as if they got a slow, it wouldn't really do much to them. So I'm gonna go for a Deathfire Grasp and a ward, because wards are key. So, got that bought up. Um, when we look at their items, as you can see, they're actually all building damage, which is why, another reason why we're winning, they don't have a tank. So, anyone that does come in through our front line, we're going to be able to burst them down and keep Jinx alive to get that quick reset. We did lose a tower, but I think we can take... Oh, shit. Damn. I have my ult to get away, but I think Jinx is going to die, too. That definitely might be... Oh, shoot, I kind of just want to go in and take him out, but there we go. So we're definitely behind on kills right there. We're going to be behind on our team. Um, Brand's not with them, so it can be a 3v3, but it's definitely a dangerous 3v3 because their stronger people are up still. Brand just keeps on pushing. Gonna want to just do as much damage as I can while poking them down. Oh man, he's coming in for it. Gonna buy those home guards. Definitely gonna need him to kind of defend our base right now. Alright, if we can catch him, we should be good. Oh, he literally just see that's how strong their brand and Zed are right now zero to 100 me instantaneously At least we'll be able to defend off all of our inhibs and towers because our inhibs going to spawn back up Gotta be careful because that Zed can definitely alter down. Yeah right there one shot When you're an AD carry you can't really go in towards their assassin without you're pretty much your whole team because that one assassin usually takes those five people to peel him off especially when he's that far ahead oh wow that was matrix by annie zed doesn't have his ult so he's not that much of a threat right now they should be able to turn that around Fizz doesn't have mana that's the only thing that might stop this from being a one a win on our side got my home guard so i'm gonna run over there i have my ult back up should be able to get in Oh, you come here. Dang it. It hit her too. Sad day. Don't want to lose that inhibitor, so we'll take out those big creeps and get this side also. Oop, that was... A <laughs> Nobody saw that. Do do do! Shut up, burrito. Alright, so we have Annie mid coming down um, mid lane. <clears throat> Gonna get my home guard reset and buy another item really quick, and just get another war just to put down, just in case I need it. So this game's definitely getting to the late game now, where the mid lane kind of slightly falls off. They're still slightly vital as far as peeling for the ADK, but they're definitely not 
near as important as just keeping that AD carry alive. Oh, I didn't even read that. They're all gonna go ahead top. Looks like they've been waiting in bushes too to kind of cut somebody off. After nerfs, uh, she's gonna be really strong for single target damage, but her multi target's gonna go down by a lot. So I think if you're gonna play Ari as an assassin, it's actually a buff. If you're gonna play Ari kind of like how I am, it's definitely not a buff. I kind of just wanted to go in, but I gotta play it safe. We got that monster wave strat going over there, so let's kind of try and keep them there. Took out the Ari really quickly. Now we can push this down mid. That was a nice catch. Uh, they were just kind of standing in the bush, not knowing we had it warded. Uh, the tower will take it. We need to just kind of utilize this push. Well, guess not. So I'm starting to run out of mana already. Or even late game still has mana problems if you're trying to constantly spam. And he's about to be back up, and we're gonna only have three people. Or four people, compared to their five. I hope he's going for it. Oh, I couldn't push my Zonias. Well, I did get Zed at least. And I did a lot of AoE damage from my my ult being able to hit three people. So we should be able to win that fight definitely really easily. Because they're all kind of clumped together as three. Yeah, that was really nice. So either, even though we were short a person in the beginning of the fight, we were able to turn it around and come out positive. It's going to give us the inhibitor for sure and maybe even the base since we do have our AD carry still alive. And as you see, I didn't really go into their back line as Ari as sometimes you will do to kind of take out an AD carry because they don't have an AD carry, but we do. So I'm going to want to use Ari a more passive and a more kind of just defensive and just use my burst potential to take out whoever I need to. Uh, Warwick's going to be up in 10 seconds, Zed in 10. So it might be risky. They might barely get it. Yeah, that's that's probably the best they can do while being safe at least for my last item I definitely don't need or my second to last item I definitely don't need any MR I mean I could but I don't need it too much I'm not really building too much of it so I'm gonna get this because I want some more resistances to stay alive a lot longer just because they have a lot of burst damage and the more MR the better against burst I don't think it's too strong of a nerf honestly it makes her her charm now kind of acts like a deathfire grasp, which I kind of like. But then everything else is getting overall damage reduction. That's why her t single target went up, because that it acts like a deathfire grasp, and it's only gonna land on one person. Definitely need our whole team. trying to poke him down. I already got him down to half HP, so if we get Renekton in here, we can kind of go in, but we're not going to be able to. So right now, it's equal in Hibs. We're going to want to be careful because they're always sitting in a bush. Yeah, they might be Baroning or they might be in that bush. Alright, there they are. We see them now. Got my death fire on Zed. I'm gonna wait for him to use that so I can cast some more spells. Oh, he went over there. Oh, I keep forgetting to press the Zonias right when I need to. Either way, we took out Annie and Zed before, and they finally killed me. Right now it's 3v2. 
Faze got a Zonia still, and they took it down to 3v1. So they should, get, they should be able to win that game. So overall, I mean, I kind of did lose my lane and eventually kind of lose towards the end. As you can see, my CS is 201, so I picked it up as farming goes for mid laners, for a mid lane. It's definitely still half of what I wanted, but I did definitely try my best since I was behind. Level-wise, I caught up. Um, throughout mid to late game, I think we were winning pretty much every team fight, mainly because, you know, our AD carry was pretty strong. And with her passive and my me picking Ari and just getting a lot of bursts, Ari and Fizz together, you're gonna be able to burst down the target, getting her passive to go up really quickly and stay alive. It looks like we're not gonna have the win, so it's not over, but yeah, today's just the basics of mid laning. Nothing advanced. I do have my Ziggs guide, which I think was pretty advanced for a mid lane. I if it's gonna be an advanced guide, it's probably gonna be a specific champion, which I think is it's more better, because each champion has a different playstyle. Today's just kind of talking about the basics of it. Don't you trust me? Sad day. We're going to be careful because our Renekton's dead. It might go to Baron, but even if they did, I think we're going to kind of poke them away. Decent sized creep wave. I almost have enough for my abyssal scepter. All right, looks like they are baroning. Got him down to half HP already. If he can hook him, I can pop that thing. Ugh. If he could have hooked the Zed, I could have definitely popped it. I want to try and keep her alive. There we go. They did get Baron, I think. Yeah, they got the Baron. But at least we took out two for one. Oh, I saw that one. But like I said, I'm not playing Ari as a blow someone up and run champ. I'm actually playing her as kind of a... Using my burst to peel from my AD carry. To just get someone to die as fast as I can, no matter who it is. And from there, I'm just going to keep staying near my AD carry, constantly trying to use my burst to get her that reset. I mean, even if I might die, that's going to be a good thing, as long as we switch one for one. Because then uh, we'll be able to get that speed boost for Jinx. Uh, looks like their inhibitor respawned, so we're gonna start stop spawning super minions. So their their mid's gonna on uh, push back harder. Big creep wave bottom. We've still got one camp left over here. Uh, with Ari, definitely. You can go if they're since they they're not running an AD carry. This was a good choice, even though I didn't get to see their team in the beginning. Uh, just because we can get the reset off of her. But either way, if there isn't there is an AD carry, you want to play Ari, one that doesn't have a good escape mainly, a one that can be bursted down really easily. Because Ari usually wants to burst down someone. But like I said, this game is a little bit different because that's not the case. But I'm still using Ari's abilities to benefit from my team because I picked her because of Jinx and. The Fizz pick, which is going to help us burst down somebody and get the reset on Jinx, which is the main reason I picked Ari for this game. So we got Annie right there, and here's the rest of them come down mid. I thought we popped Zed's passive, but I guess, or GA, but I guess not. Looks like we're doing it. Oh, I'm gonna die before I even have a chance. That's definitely not gonna be good. Especially because they're just gonna take out our AD carry. And this time there's nobody really helping her, so that's actually gonna be GG. I got ulted before I could even react. And no one was gonna peel for our Jinx, so we definitely lost that easily without the peel that I tried to provide. 
So that's going to be a good game. We actually almost won, but that was a pretty big throw, I think. They just initiated much better than us. As a mid laner, you know, your job is mainly to kind of burst the mid game, and you want to kind of carry the mid game while trying to roam and farm up uh, your lane. Most mid champions are assassins or just have a high amount of burst. There are some who have sustained damage, but that's not too many. Um, towards the late game, you know, they're definitely going to fall off in comparison to an AD carry, but they still will do tons of damage. Like I said, the reason I picked Ari was to get the reset and kind of just quickly kill anyone who goes on Jinx. Even if it was the tank like Jax, he would jump in, but I would still just focus him down to try and get the reset, get her to run away and keep on killing. That time I did get killed, and so did, I think, Fizz got killed really quickly, so we weren't able to help her out. Uh, Warwick soloed her, as you can see. Pretty much any champion can solo the AD carry um, that on their team, as long as they just burst her or catch her. And that time we weren't able to stop it, so we did end up losing. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you come back November 2nd for the charity and the 25-hour giveaway. I'm going to be giving away tons of stuff. Um, collectibles, RP. I'm going to be playing multiple games, hopefully. Not just League of Legends, but it's going to definitely mainly be League. Uh, Ignite over Teleport, because in mid lane you don't need Teleport. If you really want to roam, you can get Boots of Mobo and still keep Ignite. Um, other than that, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe to YouTube or Twitter. Follow me back to get more updates on November 2nd, how to get those prizes. And we'll see you guys next time for Win Weirdness Wednesdays. I don't know what I'm playing yet, because I usually figure that out.